It sure does, and we start with our September scorcher, now historic heat wave, roasting Northern California, breaking all-time record highs. And right now, the blazing heat is putting our power grid to the test like never before, overloading the system. Cal ISO has already declared a stage two emergency when it comes to the energy and warns rolling blackouts could begin in the next half hour or so. Thanks for joining us here at 5. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Elizabeth Kling. We've now seen seven straight days of triple digit temps and seven straight days of statewide flex alerts. The heat has been building since last week, and as Californians blast those AC units, it's putting unprecedented demand on our power grid. The next few hours are really critical. State power regulators expect energy demand to hit the highest level ever at 52,000 megawatts. To put that in perspective, the state has only surpassed 50,000 twice before, and we hit that about an hour ago. Well, we have live team coverage again tonight. Chief Meteorologist Nick Marianos is tracking the all time record we just broke. But let's start with CBS 13's Madison Keevy and what's being done to keep everybody's power on. Madison. Yeah, we're about a half hour away from that energy emergency alert three. It's the last step before those rolling blackouts. And here at the state's emergency headquarters, the demand and what's available when it comes to power is being tracked literally minute by minute. This is an extremely unprecedented situation. So now what can we do? The question answered in part by the California Independent System Operator with the activation of temporary emergency power generators deployed by the Department of Water Resources. The four generators offer up to 120 megawatts of electricity to the state's power grid. Everything helps. A state energy commissioner told CBS 13 this heat wave is something state leaders don't plan for because it's that rare. The forecasted peak demand sits at just over 52,000 megawatts. If it manifests, it's a number that's never been seen in the state's history. It could also leave the state up to nearly 4,000 megawatts short. What are the energy emergency alerts? The first is an EEA watch. It means all available resources are committed or forecasted to be in use and energy deficiencies are expected. EEA-1 signals all resources are committed or expected to be used. Deficiencies are forecasted. EEA-2, additional emergency measures are triggered, like activating emergency generators. EEA-3 could trigger rolling blackouts. It signals Cal ISO is unable to meet the minimum contingency reserve requirements. Maximum conservation by consumers is requested. But you cannot be in an EA3 for, for more than a very little time. And after that, you'll be going into a rolling outage. If rolling blackouts kick in, more than 50% of PG&E's customers won't be impacted because they share a circuit with a hospital or other essential facility. Block numbers for outages are listed online by address, something that wasn't available until the last three hours. This is an unprecedented situation. This is all of us helping all of us. So everything we do might seem very small. In the aggregate, it will be huge. All of us helping all of us. Now, on my social media, I asked Californians how prepared they felt if rolling blackouts are initiated tonight. And actually, 55% of those who responded said they were not prepared, which goes back to that we have not seen these types of conditions in a couple of years, if ever at all, with some of those record-breaking numbers. Yeah, not this high. Madison, thank you.